It was a wild ride that Will Volpert and Aaron Lieberman won't soon forget. You know, I knew that it was going to be full on at places. It was more water than I'd been on. The two men and another friend, Hunter Connolly, rafted the wild and scenic section of the Rogue River for four and a half hours during last weekend's powerful storm at peak flow. 90,000 cubic feet per second to be exact. We were in the right place at the right time and that if we passed on the opportunity, we might not see it again. Even as experienced river guides familiar with the Rogue, this was new water. I've been thinking for a while. I'd done previous high water trips on the Rogue. Uh, nothing near this high. That's the high, the most water I've ever seen on the river. Um, and that was something that we talked about at the start of the trip was whether or not either one of us had been on water like that before. A couple of close calls like this rapid in Mule Creek Canyon certainly kept the excitement going. We came around this corner and hit and saw that area that you're mentioning with uh, just immediately upon seeing it, we both sort of gave ourselves the oh shoot look. But they soon found it wasn't the rapids giving them the most trouble, it was maintaining control in the powerful currents. Pushed by a boil on the left over toward the right, you got caught up in this hydraulic for, for a couple seconds there. That really gave us some, uh, really gave us a fright. But in the end, after 35 miles, the men jumped out of the river at Foster Bar. And as incredible as the rush was, <laughs> we were talking about whether or not we might do it again, and I think that both of us will take a little bit, little break from it. They plan to wait for calmer waters. In Ashland, Travis Cook, NBC5 News.